Ibrahim, when he said to his wife, and Hajara, you, Ismail, are going to stay here. She said one question and she asked him this question. She said, Allahu amaraka bihada. She said, did Allah command you to do this? What was his response? He said, yes, Allah did. Then she said to him, then Allah is, then Allah is not going to forsake us. Brothers and sisters, we're talking about the desert. There is no air conditioner. There is no car. It is hot. We will know today if our air conditioner in the car is not working. So, the way we feel. Look at the connection she had with Allah Azza wa Jalla. She said, if Allah is the one who commanded you to leave us here, then Allah is gonna, not going to forsake us. Ism Ibrahim also, how hard can it be to leave your first child that you've had at an old age? And your son, the Arabs, the son meant a lot. And to walk away from them was a challenge for them. The people who lived there were called the what? Jurhum. They're from the Qabila al Ba'idah. They, they, they don't exist anymore. When the Zamzam water came out, Jurhum, they drank the water. And Hajara used to charge them a money to drink the water. This is where she got a livelihood from. Allah will take care of you wherever you are. Allah will provide you subhanahu wa ta'ala. لَوْ أَنَّكُمْ تَوَكَّلْتُمْ عَلَى اللَّهِ حَقَّ تَوَكُّلِي لَرَزَقَكُمْ كَمَا يَرْزُقُ الطَّيْرِ if you rely on Allah the way you should rely on Him, Allah will take care of you subhanahu wa ta'ala. Just like the bird, it leaves in the morning with an empty stomach and it comes back and who takes care of it? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. These are the benefits that we take from this and this is how it should benefit us.